Except he has some delightful questions, some, some brilliant, brilliant questions. So, so let's look at this one. Two lighthouses located at points A and B on the earth are 60 feet tall and 40 feet tall respectively. Each lighthouse is perfectly vertical, as you would expect it to be, and the land connecting A and B is perfectly flat. The topmost point of lighthouse A is A dash, lighthouse at B is B dash. Draw line segments A dash, B and B dash A. Let them intersect at points C dash. Drop a perpendicular from C dash to touch the earth at C. So I know this diagram. I think we can draw this properly. Uh, this is a very common template. So I'm going to draw this very rigorously. So let's say this is A dash A. Then this is B dash B. This is 60 feet. This is 40 feet. I'm going to join this. And join this. Let them intersect at C dash and then we have a C somewhere in between. What is the length of C, C dash in feet? And so, first thing this is a standard structure for using similarity. And so, what are the similar triangles? Triangle A dash A B and triangle C dash C B are going to be similar. Wonderful. That much is obvious. That much is clear. This angle is common, this is 90 degrees, good, and then triangle A, B dash B and triangle A, C dash C are going to be similar. And so we know that also. And so let's use this. Obviously, we don't know A, C, we don't know C, B, fine. but let's see if we can simplify, fine. C dash C by A dash A, this by this. This B C by A C. C dash C by B dash B. C dash C by B dash B again is similar to sorry, it should be B C by A B. C dash C by B dash B should be A C by A B. Wonderful. C dash C by A dash A is B C by A B. C dash C by B dash B is A C by A B. It looks like in both cases there is an A B sitting underneath. And without knowing A B, we cannot solve this. It looks like that because it will be farther away, closer. But is that the case? Think about a diagram where these two are very far away. Draw like this. This height could still be common. It could still be. This is less than B dash B. This is less than A dash A. There are lots of form like ways of doing this. Just writing down the formula. I don't want to do this. I want to do it the derivation way. I want to derive this formula once to see how it works. It looks like it should depend on A B. Originally, straight away, that's my first instinct. And then you look at it and you think about it and it looks like, look, maybe it is independent of A B. Maybe whatever be the height, A C and C B could change, but C dash C might not change and so let's put this let's call this as h and so bc by ab we have and ac by ab we have both of them we have c dash c is h h by 60 and h by 40 you divide this by this we get the ratio ac by pc you divide this first equation by second equation you'll get ac by bc wonderful ac by bc as it turns out will be 3 is to 2 wonderful we've got that now think about it what happens now c dash c by a dash a is 2 by 5 c dash c by b dash b is 3 by 5 we're done moment we get this ratio of 3 is to 2 we know c dash c is two fifths of sixty or is three fifths of forty. Two fifth of sixty is twenty four, three fifth of forty is also twenty four. It has to be. The moment we get this ratio A C is to B C, we are through. Fine. The answer is twenty four. And the key thing to get is sixty is to forty is the ratio A C is to B C. The moment we get that, we can plug in the other similarity equation and get to the answer. Quite obviously, there are going to be some formula-like variant of this. Keep that in mind. 
and so keep that form like variant in mind but it's not you don't need the form like variant you can simplify without the form like and imagine the two sets of similarity triangles and then simplify or better still see if you can derive the formula call this as h call this as h1 h2 this ratio will be h1 is to h2 so this height will be h1 times h2 by h1 plus h2 h1 h2 by h1 plus h2 60 into 40 by 60 plus 40 2400 by 100 24 that's what we would have derived it as if you have, or got it as if you have plugged in the formula but we are now looking to simplify it and derive it using similarity that's better when you're doing it do it using similarity in the exam context after you have derived the formula just plug it in and get it right Gosh.